What's going on everybody? Jesse and Finis here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to take you through a little bit different type of a video and it's going to be my squat warm up. So normally I would take you through my workout but this time I'm going to teach you how to warm up properly and how to get ready for your squats because I have extremely tight hips so my warm ups are extremely important to me. So I'm going to tell you how to do that today. So let's go inside the gym and let's get to it. Alright, so to start off, we're going to go with the adductor machine. This is going to open up your hips a lot more than just doing any groin stretch because there's weight going against you. I like to just sit there for a minute or two, really get my hips wide open, and that's going to help a lot because if you have tight hips, squatting is a very hard thing, so that helps. Next up, we're going to go with some weighted ankle mobility, and that is going to be where you go into a frog position or a deep squat, and then you just put all the weight onto your toes, trying to keep your heels on the ground, and you really just stretch out those ankles and calves. Right after that, we're going to go into some weighted hip flexor work. And I like to do these weighted just because you get a little bit more of a feel on the stretch and the muscle. So just lean forward and flex those butt cheeks. That way you stretch it better. Right after that, we're going to go immediately into step ups, I'm going to call them, where you're going to be in all four position and then you're going to step up to your same side hand. That way you really warm up those hip flexors and hip joints. This is going to help a lot when squatting deeper because you do need a lot of hip mobility when it comes to squats. After that, we're gonna go into some hip open uppers. I don't really know what to call them, but these help out a lot. While you're stretching your glute at once, you're also opening up your upper body and stretching your upper body a little bit more. That's an all around good warm up. Then we're just gonna get some glute activation by doing some bridges, and we're gonna do these just body weight, just kinda of get the mind muscle connection going on your glutes. That's gonna help a lot when trying to get your squat strength up because your glutes are the strongest muscle when it comes to your squats. So make sure you warm them up properly. So moving on to the squat rack, now we're going to get into just some barbell squats and practicing your form just with the bar. Immediately after that, we're going to go put on one plate on each side. If you can't do one plate, then just do whatever you can, and this is about like 30% of your max. Like for me, I'm going to do three plates total, so I just put on one plate and warm up, then go into two, and then I go to two and a half, and then three. So I like to go up a little bit quicker and then slow it down and go little by little. That way I really feel the weight out and know what I can do that day. Here I'm still doing some warm ups with the 275. Put my belt on, get a feel for things. I want to be ready for when I do 315. You don't want to put anything on like wrist wraps or belt or squat shoes after your warm ups and going for your working sets because then you're just going to screw up yourself and you're not going to do very well. So now we're getting to our working sets and for me that's going to be 315. I'm doing everything nice and slow because of my hip injury. but. When I'm working around that, all I have to do is just go a little bit of a wider stance and go slow. So, so things have been going pretty well for me. Definitely just work on your hip mobility and glute activation before you squat because it is going to help tremendously. So try it out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. All right, guys, that is a wrap for the video today. I hope you enjoyed this a lot. Follow those tips if you have tight hips or you just want to get a good warm-up before squatting. Um, it's helped me quite a lot. I have very tight hips. I have something called hip impingement. So if you have that too, make sure you try it out and get warmed up. Your squat will go through the roof. I promise you that. Um, it's very important to warm up properly. So make sure you comment down below what other warm-ups and routines you want to see or tips. And uh, have a great day, guys. Like, comment, subscribe.